hey what's going on guys welcome back to the channel and today we're gonna have a look at this brand new Wenbo Da Vinci One Pro the first LCD projector featuring Google TV and Netflix of course Google Widevine level 1 that means Netflix Full HD 1080p we're gonna test all this in terms of the optical engine fully enclosed optical engine Pixel Pro 5.0 that means clear edges and you should solve the problem with black spots yellow spots etc brightness 600 NC lumens according to the manufacturer they test this for real so we need to believe these are the real NC lumens in terms of focus you don't need to worry about any of that this one has auto focus auto keystone adjustment as obstacle avoidance and auto screen fit so again we're going to test all this in the living room in a minute yeah guys this particular one is packed with features including chromecast you can mirror your phone directly supports 4k 1080p native and bluetooth 5.0 in terms of looks it does look really cool i'm going to leave the unboxing till the end of the video but this is basically what you get of course we got our da vinci pro one here we got our lens at the front again autofocus and we got this brush aluminum effect here this is all plastic i believe got this fabric look alike one infrared receiver there on the side we got the design by Wenbo made in China smart projector ventilation there and on the back we can see the IO so power button two USBs one HDMI and one headphone jack this is the power in there on the side same ventilation effect at the top we got nothing and at the bottom we can see some rubber feet we got this flap to raise the projection we got the sticker with the specs underneath the rubber feet you can see the ceiling mount you should have one for each corner yeah guys i like this cube effect so we got this tiny remote with google assisted button quite cool and direct buttons for youtube netflix prime video and disney plus home button there this should be the auto focus but yeah looks good very tiny as we normally do gonna try to make this video as short as possible but covering all the points and guys if you're not subscribed to the channel consider subscribing thank you very much for your support okay let's go to the living room let's see what is one bow da vici one pro it's all about okay so the projector is on we have our landing screen and guys if you move it for some reason the projector with auto focus and auto keystone on its own so you don't need to do anything of course you can manually adjust it so you have a lot of settings to play with okay so this is google tv you got your apps there at the top and down below you have your continue watching prime video for example apple tv disney plus you got a lot of stuff including youtube etc of course you can use your google assistant open play store opening play store and you have a similar limited play store like the android tv for example where you can download your favorite apps okay guys as we normally do this is what we use to test these projectors this is my hand for size comparison and you can see we have a massive massive screen at the moment this is a good test for us to see the sharpness and the color so if we move to this side we can see yeah we can read like and subscribe there normally we get a bit of blurriness with this type of projectors on the corners but this one looks okay it's not super super sharp but you can definitely read it for me this looks okay in the middle here we can see some thin lines and some thick lines on that side and those look good as well in here scale of gray so pure black all the way to pure white in terms of the colors i'll let you guys be the judge but they look pretty good even the url there it's sharp enough 
Yeah, guys, let me step back a little bit. Not too bad at all. And one thing, I'm going to test the fan, but one thing I need to point now straight away is that this projector is super, super quiet. Yeah, very, very quiet indeed, guys. Let me turn the lights on. Of course, we're going to lose a bit of contrast as per usual with these projectors and now with this bright light on yeah we're gonna lose quite a lot and if we turn this off yeah so so much better yeah the brightness is there guys 600 NC lumens according to the manufacturer and they did some rigorous tests and if we test our lux meter here on the white spot this is not the correct way to do it but we just use it for comparison we can see there 92 95 on the white 96 on the white spot this is good for comparison with some other units we already tested here on the channel in terms of basic colors guys normally you get some darkness on the edges with this one you get just a little bit i don't know if you guys can tell i'm gonna press play yeah the basic colors look really good now let's have a look at some colors here wow it looks really good the greens and the reds there and the image is quite sharp guys let me go right on the screen here you can see a bit of skin colors and the sharpness yeah guys in terms of colors and sharpness i think this unit is quite good in terms of motion blur let's play some clips here but I'll let you guys be the judge. It looks really good to me. Looks really good. Yeah, guys, so far looks like a good unit. This is the Vici One Pro. Open Netflix. And of course, guys, having google white vine level one that means netflix full hd 1080p no issues here no blurriness of for me this is the proper way to watch content big screen nice quality nice sound as well look at the tag you'll see but i don't need to look at the tag i know i'm back so let's go yeah netflix works flawlessly no issues here whatsoever in terms of YouTube, it does play well, no lags. Image quality is good as well. Yeah, guys, as you can tell, YouTube played really well. And on top of that, we got HBO Max, Disney Plus, Prime Video. They all are supported by this unit. So you don't need to have your external TV box attached. Just bring this projector and we're able to play a lot of streaming services. In terms of fan noise, as I told you before, it's not loud. I want to be quiet for a while so we can see what this decibel meter will pick not sure if you can tell this is really really quiet this projector now let's test the speakers 8 watts times 2 and according to the manufacturer he has some sort of a sub included and you can definitely feel it there's one speaker on each side right 
in terms of speakers and sound quality I think this projector again is quite good you can feel the bass of course if you want to connect it to a sound bar something similar I don't think you need it to be honest the speakers built in into this projector are good enough for normal use currently we are playing files from an external hard drive in this case a USB stick this is a 1080p file and as you guys can tell it's playing all right this one another heavy file there's no sound with this clip another 4k file audio is not supported so we don't have the codec for this one yeah this one h265 it's not supported this one is a .ts file quite heavy as well and again yeah it's not supported so be aware of that this projector might be a bit picky when you play external files depending on the format of course now let's try to mirror our android phone you can see there 4k google stick google tv stick and yeah we are mirroring our android phone it's not a lot of lag but yeah it's working all right the video is breaking up a little bit on and on the iphone i cannot see any casting feature there but the screen casting works as it should yeah Chromecast works as it should if you want to play with this projector you can of course I know it's been a long video let me just show the DRM info you can see there 1080p and here on the wide vine level we can see the level 1 and looking at either 64 we can see we have 2 gigs of memory for ARM Cortex A35 running at 2 MHz you can see 1080p there 60 Hz refresh rate in only Android tab you can see it's running Android 11 and the device is not rooted okay guys let's wrap this video it's been a long one I'm gonna leave a link down below so you guys can check out the current price and I don't have a lot of negative points to say to this projector in terms of calls and sharpness it's right there the price being a budget unit I think it's a good price for what you get in return this is not a thousand dollars projector sound it's quite good from the speakers and of course being a Google TV projector with all the streaming services available for you guys in full HD it's very very positive yeah guys if you enjoyed the video click the like button and please guys consider subscribing to the channel thank you very much for your support like always thank you very much for watching and hope i can see you all in the next one Okay, so basically this is what you get in the box. We got our DaVinci One Pro projector, a remote control with dedicated buttons to YouTube, Netflix, Prime Video and Disney Plus, home, our Google Assistant direct button there, and you need to supply your own AAA batteries. In addition, there's the power lead and a user manual.